what we're looking at for the primary and primary endpoint is the impact on functional decline as measured by an acceptable uh, endpoint to the regulators, which is total functional capacity. Total functional capacity is widely recognized and accepted as uh, a key measure of Huntington's progression. And as widespread, a widespread regulatory acceptance, the EMA and the FDA have accepted this as a single primary endpoint. And for patients and families, uh, this is what matters. This, high, this has impact on the ability to, to work, to manage finances, to have activities at home, to manage and to be taken care of themselves, to operate independently. And to prolong that becomes a very important goal and is the goal of our uh, proof study, which is a predopidine on outcome uh, in Huntington disease. The proof study is designed to replicate findings that have already been shown in different trials to have significance, and it's highly powered. These include uh, uh, TFC, total functional capacity, uh, which measures, uh, is an index of clinical progression in Huntington disease, but also includes a responder analysis, which looks at the proportion of patients who show no worsening. We're looking at an integrated uh, assessment of motor uh, as well as uh, cognitive function as well as uh, functional progression, which is called the CUHDRS. All of these have already been shown with this drug in different trials to have significant results. So this has been highly powered. Uh, we're delighted with the response. This study has been endorsed formally by the European Huntington Disease Network. We have two outstanding investigators who are leading the study, Ralph Riemann and uh, Andy Fagan. And the two co-PIs are Sandra Kostick and Ann Rosser out of Cardiff. So we're uh, uh, pleased to see the progress and uh, we'll be giving regular updates to the community uh, as this, this uh, study progresses. The, the important thing, this is an easy drug to take. It's tolerable, it's taken orally twice a day. There's a long history of this drug, which tells us it's safe and tolerable, easy to administer, uh, and without any serious side effects. Safety becomes an issue uh, after we've seen some safety issues, and in, in, for example, at high dose in the WAVE trial. And we do wanna have a drug that's safe and it causes no harm, uh, and we're pleased to say that predopidine falls into that category.